What is up guys? We are back. It is Sunday night and I am working on the first gen again. Just here in, here in the shop. We got, we still got the second gen in here. So we didn't end up getting the sport bumper put on the second gen. We're missing two of the brackets for the sport bumper. So didn't get around to that. Oh well, but to the, for the first gen, I'm working on taillight stuff. So as you guys saw, Colton put this new taillight in, swapped out the harnesses. Um, I got both of the good harnesses in it. I've got them, bear with me as I get down here. And All right guys, so luckily enough, um, I did, I've stated that we don't have rear, rear brakes, brake lights on the new truck, the new first gen. So found this D150 here in the pick and pull and it has all of this still under here. So we're missing from like that hole forward and well, we don't have this connection either. So we're gonna take all this rear harness out and pull it so we can put it on our pickup. I'm gonna trace it all the way back up in front of the tank because there's some spliced in parts up there. So I'm gonna take all of it that I can. So we're gonna go up here and take a look and see what we're working with. But really you can see it's that connection. And then right over here, there's another connection that runs behind this piece and then meets in this junction hole and goes all the way up. So. We're going to see if we can't get this off of here so we can have tail lights on our first, new first gen. Yeah, I've got some of the wires picked out. Um, this this part of the wires, these these run somewhere. I don't know where they, I, oh, they go to the passenger tail light is where these go to. So that's what I'm doing right now, wiring up the, or the driver tail light. My bad, I'm getting everything mixed up. Driver tail light is getting wired up right now and I will hook up all the connections and test it and make sure everything's right and it's not backwards, all that good stuff. Cause who knows, something could get lost in translation right here. There's a bunch of splices and things like that from the factory. So I'm making sure I've got it all figured out before I go too wild. And then, yeah, that's basically where I'm at. So I'm gonna wire all this up and let's see if it works. So I'm gonna finish wiring this. And I'm gonna see, get you guys back out and we'll see if all the lights work. Meep's coming to check out my work, but I've got all the wires hung down right here. I got them all pulled out of the loom. So obviously I'm gonna loom it all up, but we wanna test and see if all of our, if, if we were right. There was 10, I believe 10 or 12 wires. Or, basically, you guys haven't seen, insert picture here. This truck was a flatbed. Um, it has been at like almost the whole time it's been in my family, it's had a flatbed. So. There's trailer brake stuff going on, homemade wiring for the flatbed. So I have removed that. So this is why I'm, this is why this is such a big deal because I have to get the brake lights and tail lights to work because of all the stuff that was on it. So obviously with the flatbed, a bunch of different stuff, factory harness was gone. That's why I went and got another harness out of the pick and pull. I didn't really give you a backstory there. That is why. So let's see if we've got everything. So I'm just gonna do brakes first. All right, both sides we've got we got brake lights. Um, let's try running lights. I can't see very good, so oops. This side we got a running light. That side we got a running light. That's good news. Okay, so the truck, and I hate that buzz. I can't believe I haven't taken the buzzer out yet. So I got the key on. Not all the way on. There we go. Key is all, all the way on. Blinker is blinking on the dash. Okay, we got that blinker. We got that blinker on that side. So, all right, we are turning all that nonsense off. Okay, so we have all tail lights. So that means I can go ahead and finish the heat shrink and then I'm gonna loom it all up and use my nice electrical not not actual electrical tape it's like it's softer material I don't know what it is I don't know what you call it but I'll show you guys when I'm done but yeah we're gonna loom all of our wires back up where they're supposed to be and uh, be done with this portion of it I'm very excited to have this done with I'm glad to have taillights because then that means I can go drive this thing around and I'm very excited for that I haven't really got to drive it this weekend at all so I'm pumped all right, guys, so we're on a little test drive action. Um, just making sure lights and everything work. Uh, but we're, we're in the truck right now. I'm gonna hop out and 
walk around the truck a little bit. I still got that damn buzzer in here. Too bad all the lights are working it looks like so I'm pretty happy about that you can tell that exhaust is dumped right after the axle or right before the axle pretty much stuff tailgate closes in the perfect position it's actually flush and not sticking like an inch out i'm pretty happy about that too so a lot of good stuff this weekend very happy to have colton's help you can see from the side here how much rake this thing's got it sits three inches higher in the rear than the front so i measured it and it was like six inches six and a half inches in the front from top of the tire to the wheel well and then nine and a half on the rear so we're gonna have to fix that i measured the i measured the factory block there we go the factory rear block and um it it was six inches so really i need to find like a Two, two to three inch block. Um, I, if it's a two, I can make up that extra inch or whatever I gotta do to make it sit level, but gotta get rid of the six inch block in the back of this thing. I just don't like it. it makes it ride pretty rough as well. Um, but yeah, so I have not done the Transbo 8315 voltage regulator, uh, internal regulator deal yet. It's 11 30 on sunday night i have to leave tomorrow monday to go back to work so i'm pretty happy just to get the wiring done and i can drive the truck at night now without being worried so that's probably going to wrap it up for this weekend of working on the first gen i really appreciate you guys coming back to the channel and checking it out i'm very pumped to have the truck back so until next time on the old school crew we will see you later keep kicking it old school and give it, give it a couple weeks and and we'll be back so peace out guys thanks Thank <laughs> you.